Hello, this is Brian Walco, Principal Geologist, Earth Extractions, and today you're in for a treat because I am going to be leading a prospecting trip for radioactive uh, rocks and minerals here in the Central Mining District of Boulder County, Colorado. The key piece of equipment that you need when you go prospecting is a Geiger counter or scintillator. This is a, a Ludlum Model 3000. It's pretty much state of the art. It's what uh, most of the prospectors use. This one has the added feature that there is a data logger, which means I can uh, log where I'm going and it will uh, count the, uh, record the, uh, the, the counts, the radiation counts, and then communicate it with my Garmin and then I'll be able to map it and produce heat maps. So one of the things that you need to understand, there's two pieces of equipment that go with this Garmin. First of all, this is a, a, a 44-2. This is a, a scintillator. Scintillator is a crystal and it's designed to basically go after gamma rays only. It's extremely sensitive. This is what we walk along with and uh, we scan the ground and this can pick things up from five, six, ten feet away and alert us right away that we're in a hot area. The problem is it's so sensitive you can't narrow down. The other good thing about the 44-2 is it's a, it's a crystal, it's a sodium iodine crystal in here so there's no problem with bringing it up to a higher altitudes. Once we locate it we use the Ludlum 44.9. This is commonly known in the business as the pancake. This is a true Geiger Mueller Geiger counter tube. There's an actual physical tube in here and it also collects. The good thing about this one is the Geiger Mueller tool goes for alpha, beta, and gamma rays. Now I'm not really concerned about alpha rays, radon gas, unless they're underground and alpha rays can be stopped pretty much by a piece of paper so for protection I always put this cap on but one of the things you have to be aware of with a 44.9 is this grid here there's a very thin piece of mica here protecting it protecting the tube this has an altitude rating of 8,000 feet here in Colorado I'm, I'm up at 8,000 close to 9,000 I've pushed this I wouldn't take it any higher to go over to the western slope of Colorado, we have to pass a couple mountain passes and uh, then yeah, I put it in a special airproof, waterproof uh, thing so it won't break it. So I always keep this cap on so it does not uh, get contaminated. I'm going to uh, cycle on the Ludlum. Runs through a self check, gives me the battery charge. Count, it's working. All right, the first thing you need to know when you go out in the field is what's your background radiation? And uh, here in my garage, and the reason why, let me turn this off here. The reason why I'm shooting this beginning part is it is blowing really hard outside. The camera would definitely uh, tip over. You would not be able to hear me. And uh, I guarantee you when we go up in the field, uh, conditions are going to be brutal up there today. So you'll find out in just a little bit. So I'm just holding this here, bringing it to the ground. Right now, this is giving me a reading of about 50 uh, CPS, which is just normal for this part of Colorado. Next, I'm going to show you how the uh, scintillator works. Uh, this is a piece of carotenite, uh, pretty hot. It's from Wyoming. I'm going to put the sound on. We're reading about 50 and watch as I start getting closer you can hear the sound and it starts increasing we're at 120 200 312 500 600 and we just pegged the alarm we're well over a thousand thousand CPS definitely hot stuff Obviously, you can see why I'm wearing my protective gloves. Next, I'm going to show you the difference. I have the pancake on, the 44.9. Right now, the background is about 2 CPS. Again, this is not as sensitive. 
let's uh, bring it closer. Even even out here, it, it's it's hardly registering. So the advantage of the 44.9 is to uh, bring it right up there, and I can. It drops off very really, really quick, so I can zero in on exactly where the uh, radioactive material is. We're getting a count of about uh, 150 to 200, a lot less than the 1,000, 900 to 1,000 CPS that we were getting before. But again, what it gives me the ability is to narrow down and find things. So our next stop will be up in the field.